What's up, guys? Sheldon back with another review, and today we are looking at the Super Action Statue Silver Chariot Second from JoJo's Star Adventure Part 3, Stardust Crusaders. So this is just the second version they have. Uh, not too different here. The original one was all silver, hence its name, Silver Chariot. Uh, this one has some gold trim to it, which I actually prefer. Uh, anyway, let's look at this box really quickly, though. So here you go, some of the pictures or poses he can come or do. Uh, this is actually a special sound effect accessory he comes with. I don't know what it says, though. <clears throat> and then you have just one head, and then you have this display stand and, and this, his accessories. And then, of course, you got the box window, or art box window, and so on. Okay, so let's take a look at the accessories really quickly. So again, this is the uh, special accessory he comes with. It's still in the bag because I don't use the display stages, so it's pretty cool. Uh, he also comes with, let's take a look at his weapons here. Uh, so this is his main weapon right here, his rapier. So you can get that to focus. Come on. Hmm. If I hold a little further back. I oh, don't know, no, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. Maybe if I, like, put it closer. Maybe you guys can see it a little better. Okay, cool. So this is his main weapon. It's very nice. It's a hard plastic. Well, actually, it's like a little flexible right here. So that's pretty nice. He also comes with a katana. And this is actually detailed really nicely. It's got some detail on the handle, sculpted really nicely, and the hilt and all that. Mine has a little paint, uh, paint splotch here. Uh, but that's mostly a factory thing. But man, that handle looks pretty sweet. And this is not his weapon. This is actually like a, a story, a little plot element weapon. But there's that. And then he also has a broken version. Again, it's part of the story right here, so it's pretty cool. I didn't break it. It's supposed to be like that. He comes with two gripping hands for the rapier or the katana. You kind of see he's got the gold knuckles. Super nice here. Uh, and then he has these relaxed hands right here, just for posing. And I do want to mention the hands look very nice. The fingertips are pretty sharp, just like uh, a knight's glove, uh, which is what he's designed after. So very, very nice detail. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure itself right here. So let's get a measurement really quickly. He stands roughly six and a half inches, so pretty standard for the scale. Oops. Uh, and of course, if we're talking about stands, you have to put him next to his user, Polnareff, right here. So he scales pretty well. He's a little bigger, but that's normal though, since they are like the manifestations of their spirit. Yeah, so of course, he's designed after, you know, knights. He's kind of scrawny, that's basically what he is though. But overall, very nice in terms of paint. You can see that it's a little glossy. You can see the light bouncing off it. Uh, so it's kind of shiny. So it's nice. It's got a good metallic color. It's got a cute little butt here. <laughs> um, so very, very nice in terms of paint. Love the design. Again, prefer this one to the old one, simply because the single color is kind of dull. And you can kind of see, too, if you can zoom in on his face. Uh, focus. Let me see, let me get a little closer right here. Okay. Well, one day it'll focus, but you can see he's got that green gem, and actually you can see the eyes inside the mask too. That's really well done. Here, let me try this again. Focus. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but the eyes there are there. All right, so overall look, very, very nice. Actually, uh, of the figures that I do have, this one actually seems to get a lot of compliments. I don't know, it's just something striking about it. Uh, okay, so enough about that though, let's look at articulation right here. So head is on a hinged ball, ball joint, uh, so pretty decent going forward. Not so much going back because of the sculpt. It doesn't come with an interchangeable head, so you don't have to pull it off and combine with the neck, which is on a ball joint, I think. Kind of limited though because of the sculpt, but when combined it's pretty good range of motion going down. You can look at his feet and then going up, really not that much, honestly, but you know, go full 360 on the head. Uh, and then for the shoulders, it's a ball peg into the shoulder and into the bicep, so the armor does get in the way a little bit, but you still get horizontal, and actually it's mostly just the shoulder, so if you just move it aside, 
and kind of tuck the spike behind, you see you get like pretty good range of motion. Uh, and then of course you get the full 360 right here, no problem. Then you do have a bicep swivel, which is just okay, actually. So it would have been nice if they had the swivel right here, but they don't. So it's still pretty decent. Again, because of the sculpt, it is limiting, but if you just angle a little bit, you can get it pretty good. Uh, and then the elbows, greater than 90 degrees. Something that I do want to mention, though, is I found these sculpt kind of strange. So you see how it's kind of cut out over here? I feel like normally they do that for the bend of the elbow. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's to accommodate for this uh, elbow pad, which is pretty nice, actually. But, you know, normally I expect it to go like this, right? That way you get a really good bend right here. But I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's just something I want to point out. Uh, okay, but yeah, I do like the golden elbow pads, by the way. They're really nice. And of course, the golden, I don't know, bracelet? Uh, and then on the wrists, ball peg. Pretty standard. It's a pretty good range of motion there. And then for the ab crunch, you have a ball joint up here and a ball joint up here. You can see that. So pretty decent up here, pretty decent. Be careful, this bottom does not move at all. It looks like it does, but it will not, so don't break it. But for the diaphragm, let me see, not bad. And then for the waist right here, you can see you get full 360 if you'd like. And then let's see, combined, eh, not that bad, but not that great either. Going back, that's all right. It looks a little fragile too. Uh, okay, for the hips, looks like we have ball joints right here. So actually, it looks like you can go all the way around if you want because there's nothing impeding it. Yeah, it's a really, really good range of motion back and forward. Uh, side though, that's as far as you're gonna go in terms of like splits. Uh, and then you have the thigh swivel here, which is really well hidden thanks to the sculpt, it's just, just because of the way it looks. So no problem right there. And then you have double jointed knees, pretty good range of motion. It is kind of weird though, that there's a big gap between the knee pad and right here. It feels like it should be just flush. I don't know why, but because of that, like, the, the knee can kind of, I don't know, I don't know what you call this. It's like a bird leg. Uh, whatever. And then the knee also swivels at the top. So pretty good range of motion there for the ankles. That's down. That's up. So better going forward than it is backwards, though. Again, thanks to the sculpt, because it is armor, uh, it does get in the way. And you have a toe hinge right here. Uh, and you do have an ankle rocker, but again, thanks to the sculpt of the sides, they do get in the way. So this one is a little better than this one right here, so you can still get it to go a little bit. Uh, you can finagle it, but I don't feel like messing with it because it is kind of a thin figure. Uh, so overall, my impression that it's a pretty nice figure. Uh, I suppose it is the stand of an uncommon character, unpopular character, but... I mean, just looking at it, it looks really great. Uh, so I would say if you're into JoJo uh, and you're a casual fan of, I guess, Polnareff and his stand, you know, I do recommend it. it it's pretty great. Because it's not that popular, it might be easy to find uh, at a lower price because when these things sell out, they tend to inflate in price as usual. Right, uh, so again, here he is next to a stand user. Uh, the only problem with collecting this line, though, is if you're a JoJo fan, if you collect the stand, for the most part, you're going to have to collect its user, too, so be wary of that moving forward. But yeah, if you're into that, though, I would do recommend it. It's a great figure, comes with a lot of stuff, and in my opinion, it's an improvement over the first version. Uh, okay, well, that's pretty much it uh, for this review, so if you did enjoy it, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to put this guy in some poses. All right, thanks for watching.